Okay, let's talk about tianeptine, an atypical opioid with antidepressant properties. So tianeptine was first discovered in France in the 1960s, where it was found to possess antidepressant properties in mice. However, unlike other tricyclic antidepressants of the time, its effect profile was drastically different. It didn't cause motor impairment or sleep changes, and it didn't seem to affect the same receptors that those previous drugs did. It was eventually approved for the treatment of depression in France and a couple other countries without knowing how it really works. It was first observed that it actually reduced serotonin levels in the synapse, so essentially the opposite of an SSRI, but it was later discovered that these effects were not replicable and still could not explain its effects. Only in 2014, more than 30 years after its approval, was it discovered that tianeptine was a mu opioid agonist. The mu opioid receptor is the target of drugs like morphine and codeine and mediates much of the effects of traditional opioids. When you look at its binding profile, it's actually quite selective for this, with the only other affinity being for the delta opioid receptor. So completely different than tricyclic antidepressants. This was somewhat suspected because at high doses, the drug could be taken recreationally, where it very obviously caused euphoric effects. However, this did not explain why it was still an antidepressant, because microdosing heroin isn't exactly a sustainable antidepressant, whereas tianeptine seemed to work long term and protect certain parts of the brain against stress induced depression. So, researchers explored if the antidepressant effect was contingent on this action by blocking the mu opioid receptor and still seeing if it had an effect. It turned out that the mu opioid receptor was required for the antidepressant action, which left only one explanation. Tianeptine was a selective and biased agonist of the mu opioid receptor. Biased agonism means that it interacts with the receptor in a way to activate certain pathways over others, which in the context of the opioid receptor can allow certain agonists to not cause respiratory depression or perhaps even drug tolerance to the extent that traditional agonists do. It appears that this action allows tianeptine to modulate glutamatergic transmission in a way that protects the brain against stress-induced depression without negatively impairing cognition and perhaps even improving it, and with minimal overt opioid-like effects at low doses. However, because tianeptine is only selective enough to lend itself to antidepressant effects at low doses, traditional opioid-like effects are achievable when the drug is abused, which caused it to be highly scheduled in a lot of countries, with Singapore restricting its prescription to psychiatrists. While this discovery did help inform why the drug was abusable, it doesn't change anything about its efficacy as an antidepressant, because pharmacology, like any other science, is nuanced, to the point where something as scary sounding as a mu opioid agonist can actually be an efficacious antidepressant. I just find it funny that in the most roundabout way possible for over 30 years it was thought that tianeptine was anything but an opioid let me know what you think down below and stay safe with your research bye